and I'm kind of getting emotional about it because it's instances like that to where those females saw something in me, pulled me aside, very professional, and they taught me what it's like to be a female in the military. <laughs> everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you all who are watching me for the very first time, I'm Army Princess, U.S. Army soldier and I've been in the military for over 10 years now and I love to share my experiences with you all to help you all become the best soldiers you can be. With that being said, you might want to consider hitting the subscribe button right now because I upload military related content every single Monday and throughout the week I sprinkle in other types of content. This week I'm kicking off one of my biggest series ever and that is how to glow up. In the military but if you watch me then you know that I like to do series here on the channel and I like to do things that are going to help you all as soldiers be the best soldiers you can be this series is for my females I want females to have a great experience in the military I want everybody to have a great experience in the military I did this series because I want you all to come into the military being confident that's probably one of the number one comments that I get in the comment section is that army princess I'm just not confident or I'm scared or I'm nervous or I don't know what to expect or I'm not very sure. In this series, I want to spell out the things that will help you all be confident, help you all be able to maneuver through your military career with style and grace. I wasn't as always confident as people might perceive me to be in the military, especially when I first joined. When I first joined, I had no clue of how things went, what was expected of me, what I was supposed to do, how I should maneuver, how I should act. But I was fortunate to have, number one, good leadership. And my direct leadership were all guys. But there were females that took grabbed a hold of me that I still thank to this day and I'm still Facebook friends with. They grabbed a hold of me and they showed me what a female should be in the military. How I should act, how I should carry myself, how I should maintain the standard. And I'm so thankful that I had that female presence within my first years of joining the military because it really showed me um, what what being a female was in the military. I remember at my first duty station, um, there was this female, I will never forget her. Her name was Sela and she was already a E6. Like I'm just an E2 and she was already, I remember she was already a, a staff sergeant, an E6. And she kind of took a hold of me. I don't know what it was about because we didn't, she, I lived in the barracks for like the young single soldiers and she wasn't even a pharmacy technician but she was in my unit and she, I don't know if she saw something in me or I just saw something in her but I just kind of latched onto her. Bear in mind I was a private so I had no clue of, of anything but I saw this this black female that had some rank and she was running things like she was running things and I kind of latched on to her she was just kind of school me on more so being a female in the military and I would just kind of watch her and copy her style and see how she did things it kind of set the groundwork for what I was expected to do once I got in the position that she was in was this other female um she was i, I want to say e5 at the time e5 e6 um sergeant logan and she was another female that i really looked up to because she when i say she was running things or in my eyes she was running things she was running things she always stood at the front of the formation she always stretched us out for pt and at that time i was like oh my god i, I don't want to stand in the front of the formation i don't want to um I don't I, I could never I could never do that like I don't know what the calls are I could never do that and so she she pulled me out one day I will never forget she pulled me out she pulled me in the front of the formation and she was like you need to learn how to do this because one day you're gonna be standing up here and I was like okay and I will never forget she invested time into me she showed me how to do an extended rectangular formation for PT how to who do all the calls how to name everything off and I was like I'm so glad that she pulled me out and she showed me how to do this because 
when you go after you for people who don't know once you get a little bit of time in the military you have to go through these military schools and military courses and one of the first things that you learn as a young soldier is how to do a PT formation how to stretch everybody out and I was so glad that she invested the time into me and she she saw something in me and pulled me out and I will never forget it in my military career and I still I know how to do stand in front of a PT formation to this day and be confident because of her so it was people like them that were that were my first encounter in the military that were great influences on me and it really set the groundwork for being confident in the military. One of the other females that I will never forget was Sergeant Bates. And um, I'm going to do a video on how to arrive at your first duty station because of Sergeant Bates. <laughs> I will never forget. I showed up at my first duty station with this green eyeshadow on. <laughs> And I, you know, I was, I thought I was cute. They let us out of basic training in AIT and they let us loose with the makeup. And I was like, oh, this match my uniform is green, right? It's green. It, I'm coordinating. So she was so nice and polite the way she pulled me aside. And I, I have to give her respect and props for that because she could have did it. She could have been the, the ghetto female and could have came up to me with the neck rolling, but she didn't. She pulled me aside very professionally. I will never forget, very, very, very professionally. She pulled me aside and she said, um, Private Jones, I, I think my name was Jones back then. Private Jones, do you know what the regulation is for hair and makeup and uniform? And I'm like, no. She was like, okay, this, is where you get it from we're gonna go through it together but you can't you can't wear that makeup and uniform you you have to take it off and I I didn't feel offended I didn't feel embarrassed because of the way that she approached me about it very professional and it was a way that I could receive the information from her and um and so she took me she was like, go, go home. She was like, go to the bathroom, wipe it off. You can't wear it in uniform. And we're going to talk about the regulations so that you are, so that you know what the regulation is. You know what the standards are. You are a female in the military and people are going to expect you to be in, within regulations and you should know it. Don't take my advice for it. Don't take, don't take my word of mouth for it. I want you to be able to look it up for yourself and you be able to know what the regulation is for yourself so that if somebody um, comes up to you, you know what you're talking about. And I'm kind of getting emotional about it because it's instances like that to where those females saw something in me, pulled me aside, very professional, and they taught me what it's like to be a female in the military through their own ways i don't think they were intentionally like trying to school me but in their own ways in the ways that they did it they taught me what it's like being a female in the military and being confident what being a confident female in the military look like and for that i will be forever grateful for those females in the military i want to say all three of them are out now sergeant logan just got out this year they helped set the groundwork foundation for me and for me to be the strong, confident female I am today. And so I challenge all of the people that watch my videos and all of the people that, um, that follow me to do your own research. Don't let anybody tell you what the regulation is. You do your own research so you know. So you can stand on your own two legs and you know what being a confident female is in the military. I challenge you all to learn something new every single day. To look out, to just take a look, look around the people that you interact with, the females that you interact with. Look at, look for the strong ones, look for the confident ones, look and see what they're doing and model it. You don't have to um, copycat everything, but model it to pick, take the, pick the good out of it, pick the bad out of it and see what you don't want to be like, but take the good out of it and use it and use it as a snowball effect to help grow into the person that you want to be in the military. All right, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed that. I hope shedding a little insight on some of the things that I went through as a female in the military will help you all be able to grow and be confident on your journey in the, in the military. This is just the first video in the series, but we got a lot more coming, so make sure you stay tuned. 
on that note, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, what are you waiting on? Go now.